Uh, Next Cloud Office provides an online, real-time collaborative editing suite. It's highly interoperable, so you can get all of your government documents, uh, spreadsheets, and presentations imported, and it runs in all modern browsers, so very easy to deploy. And you can work collaboratively with your team, and you can see what everyone else is doing while you, you edit. Uh, and perhaps while you do that during your next Cloud Talk video meetings as well. So very easy to collaborate and work together. Of course, you can collaborate on documents. That's, that's very smooth. And uh, maybe someone's editing some meeting minutes in your meeting, and you know the flow is going well. And, and maybe you're tired. You're focused on something else. And so it's really great to be able to then follow uh, the editor and make sure that when your name is called, you'll be where the action is happening in the document. Uh, and, and you can immediately re-engage and, and help uh, provide value in the meeting. Obviously, uh, we do spreadsheets as well. So you can model, plan, project, budget collaboratively in real time uh, with all the advanced formulas and functions you expect, conditional formatting to highlight the key data, and uh, all sorts of formulas, particularly like this contextual tooltip feature we've added in the recent uh, version. So as you type your formula very easily in line, you can see what all of those parameters are supposed to be and get them right. Obviously, we have presentations as well. So rich media support, images, videos, and charts, showing all of that data, persuading and winning over uh, your audience uh, with slight transitions and animations to you know, make it even more rich. Nextcloud Office also provides wonderful integration with Nextcloud and the rest of the suite uh, and adds huge value with that. So you have an easy to access side pane on the right there, and you can see the activity on the document. You can see comments, interactions, what other people have been thinking and doing around the document. Obviously, you can pull new people in. You can share easily there uh, with uh, options and various permissions for new users. And then, of course, version control to see what's been happening uh, very easy and when. We have Smart Picker integration, and the Smart Picker is a great tool that allows AI, communication features, and all sorts of other content to be brought and picked directly into your document. Um, so easily to insert links to other documents or even elements of other documents, uh, to link documents together. You can generate content there, new images. It's just fantastic. Or, or even just connect with other Nextcloud apps like Deck or Mail. Uh, and that really streamlines your workflow and makes it easy to build documents that enrich other people's understanding. Obviously, we can export to all manner of formats. Uh, we, we love to do that, particularly to our, our Microsoft uh, using friends. Uh, we're, we're excellent at that. Um, but one of the things we really love is PDF. So we can provide very powerful hybrid PDFs that actually embed the original document inside the PDF. So if you want to load the full Fidelity version, you can, you can get it, uh, as it as it was intended. Uh, but of course, people without that can just use a PDF viewer. Tagged PDFs are, of course, really important, uh, and PDF universal accessibility for, for citizens that want to be able to understand and get good quality documents and structure and, and detail around those documents, as they should uh, for the impaired uh, PDF 1.7 support. And that makes exporting just really easy and, and rich and powerful. There's another use case we really want to sort out, which is creating templates and filling forms and making sure that people get all the fields right and so on. And so being able to create multiple documents from a central database or template is really, really key. Now, of course, there's an easy UI so that anyone can create a template. It's just uh, very, very simple. There's a nice toolbar there. Uh, you can set your file up and then you can just drop it in the next cloud templates folder. Really easy to deploy. And then, of course, as you create a template, that template will appear as an option and will interrogate the template and get those uh, fields out of it and provide a UI that lets you fill those out and uh, make a document that then has all of those uh, in it. And so it's not only creating documents uh, for this, but also being able to extract data out of it. So we have a new API there that allows you to uh, interrogate any document with fields and grab data out of that. Um, so lots of useful form-filling goodness uh, and API to allow simple scripting uh, to generate documents and uh, let them uh, run riot with all sorts of useful information inside them. And you can see that flow happening there. Um, some, some pretty exciting stuff and really, really easy to use. Of course, in addition to text and, and form fields, dates, and, and so on, um, it's often really cool to enrich your document with, with a pretty chart. You know, ah, graphic can show so much information. So we have a nice API to allow you also to uh, script charts. You know, maybe it's your successes in, uh, in a project plan or, or, or something like that, uh, whatever it is, so that you can then automatically generate those 
uh, for, for many people with a, with a small script. When it comes to setting up and configuring Nextcloud Office, uh, we've added some functionality that if you're an administrator, will, will show up in your toolbar. So you can just check that you've got it as optimal as you can. And that can really simplify getting a large deployment right, uh, secure, and so on. And all of that links into the SDK uh, to make it easier to find the documentation and read that. So when it comes to presentations, we've been doing some uh, great work here. One of the things we like about Nextcloud Office is making a no compromise Office productivity suite that brings a full feature app into the browser. And in order to enrich our slideshows, we really think it's great to have 3D transitions between slides. So we've done a whole load of work to try and make this uh, work beautifully in the browser. And we now, for the first time, have WebGL support. So you can see pretty transitions happening in your browser uh, everywhere from any device. Of course, you have to support uh, WebGL in your browser, but that's, that's most of them. So we're pre pleased to see that. And of course, at the same time, we've made presentations actually much faster. So quicker to open large slide decks, we can get going uh, snappily, and I think 16 times faster. So if you have a large uh, presentation for a department or you know, a seminar or perhaps a teacher in a classroom, you, know, you can get going quickly and keep people's attention. So security-wise, we've done a whole lot of work to improve some corner cases where people wouldn't give us the permissions we need to secure your documents nicely. So we now use rootless containers and Linux namespaces. And so we can use these features to encapsulate your documents really securely on, on things like OpenShift and, and those other platforms where, ironically, not having enough permissions meant that we couldn't do as good a job of uh, securing your documents. So now we can. And that's, that's, that's really great. So we're doing that out of the box now, uh, wherever we can. Another security feature has been this investment by the BSI, uh, alongside Allotropia, coming from the LibreOffice core community to add wholesome encryption. Uh, so just a better way to encrypt the whole ODF document instead of individual streams. Uh, securing that and improving the algorithms there, uh, better AES GCM encryption, argon to key derivation functions, all sorts of good technical details. It's just better. Uh, interoperability is something we're constantly working to improve. Uh, there's just a few highlights here. We're bundling some more metric compatible fonts to make things uh, layout uh, more similarly. Uh, and you can see the impact there of sort of layout changes with improvements in smart justification coming from uh, LibreOffice Upstream. Again, a community contribution we much appreciate from Laszlo Nemeth. And uh, new Excel compatible functions as well. So like filter, sort, sort by, and many others. So in summary, uh, there are a whole load of things here in this feature. Uh, one feature I didn't mention I'd love to pull out is some feedback from Nextcloud highlighted a, a Firefox-related performance issue. And we've just done some great work to speed up that browser-specific uh, performance problem there. And also, while I'm here, accessibility. So just lots and lots of improvements across the suite, adding more uh, context, labels, relations to make everything better.